I'm Kate Costa with New Venture Mentor, and here's your weekly dose of entrepreneurship news. It wasn't a super exciting week in the small business world, but we do have a few tidbits for you. First up is a study that verifies what's probably old news to any of you who have been subcontractors on winning federal government proposals. According to a survey conducted by American Express, nearly one-third of all small businesses working in the federal space have been shafted by larger companies serving as the prime on contracts. The big guys win bids using the small businesses on their proposals and then either limit the amount of work that small businesses actually get or cut the little guys out completely. Now, the federal government is aware of this problem, and the Small Business Administration and other interested parties are working on increasing enforcement and changing the rules so that big businesses can't use the bait and switch on contracts they've won because small businesses were on the bid, but whether this, this issue will be handled in the near future is tough to tell. Staying in Washington, the Office of Innovation and Entrepreneurship at the Department of Commerce's Economic Development Administration has teamed up with the National Institutes of Health and the National Science Foundation for the I-6 Challenge, which will award up to a million dollars each to six winning teams for the development of proof-of-concept centers. The goal of the competition is to, quote, develop proof of concept centers and create a network of experts to support innovators and researchers, spur sustainable startups, small businesses, and new ventures, expand access to capital to fuel growth, connect mentors and education to entrepreneurs, and spark job creation. Also this past week, Dell announced its new Dell Innovators Credit Fund that is designed to enhance funding raised by startups from angel investors and venture capitalists. The $100 million fund will allow approved startups to borrow up to 10% of their funding raised or $150 grand, whichever is smaller, to provide an added boost to these companies' growth capital. Now, I'm not quite sure how much of an impact this new initiative will have, as the only companies that are eligible for it are companies that have already proven their ability to raise money elsewhere, but we'll have to wait and see how the new initiative shakes out. Finally, don't forget to let the SEC and the SBA know what you think about the way provisions for the JOBS Act should be implemented. And subscribe to this channel and follow me on Twitter for the latest entrepreneurship news as well as tips, tricks, and tutorials to help your small business grow. Mm -hmm.